Infections down two-thirds in England since January. All across the country, COVID cases are falling, potentially opening the way for a swifter end to lockdown restrictions. So the trend is very good news, but with the number of people in hospital still very high, similar, about the same level as the peak of the first wave, there's basically, there isn't that much headroom. Also on News at 10 tonight, testing at home, the plans to help get children back into school. Facebook goes to war with the Australian government and suffers an almighty backlash. Facebook was wrong. This is an assault on a sovereign nation. Facebook's actions today were unnecessary. They were heavy-handed. Amazon famously boasts it does not use zero-hours contracts, but a special investigation finds it's a bit more complicated than that. Day three of sea turtle rescue operations continue. Thousands of turtles stunned by the cold, a tale from Wintry, Texas, and... That's unconfirmed. Perseverance, please, please, on the surface of Mars, ready to begin seeking the sand of half-life. A giant leap, the Perseverance rover lands in search of life on Mars. This is ITV News at 10 with Tom Bradby. Good evening. Ever since the Prime Minister chose next Monday to tell us when he's going to ease restrictions in England, he's been awaiting new data on the virus. Well, today more of it came through from Imperial College London and most of it was good. Six weeks of lockdown have helped lower case numbers in the first half of February to around one in 200, a big drop from the one in 64 we saw in January. Cases, though, are highest in the 18 to 24 bracket. Then it's the 5 to 12 year olds, which makes the Prime Minister's desire to get schools open on March the 8th look a little more challenging. But many of his backbenchers are growing restive. As soon as the priority groups are vaccinated at the end of March, they want everything opened. It's life, Jim, but not as we know it. The song, not the film. That's it. Good night. Thank you for watching.